Hello, 8th graders. This is Teacher Monica, and welcome to our learning session. In this lesson, you are expected to illustrate triangle congruence. The two triangles are congruent when they have exactly the same measurement of the corresponding sides and exactly the same measurement of the corresponding angles. In triangle congruence, you have to remember these symbols and what it stands for. So for the first symbol, this is read as triangle ABC is congruent to triangle DEF. So this is the symbol for congruency and this is the symbol for triangle. Corresponding sides are marked the same and same goes with the corresponding angles. Now, I want you to look at these two figures. This is triangle ABC and this is triangle DEF. Take a look at the corresponding marks. In these figures, the corresponding sides are line segment AB and line segment DE. Thus, line segment AB is congruent to line segment DE. Next, we have line segment AC and line segment DF are corresponding sides. Thus, line segment AC is congruent to line segment DF. Another corresponding sides are line segment BC and line segment EF. Thus, line segment BC is congruent to line segment EF. Now, the pairs of corresponding angles here are namely angle A and angle D. Thus, angle A is congruent to angle D. Another pair of corresponding angles are angle B and angle E. Thus, angle B is congruent to angle E. Another pair of corresponding angles are angle C and angle F. Thus, angle C is congruent to angle F. Congruent angles are named by listing their vertices in corresponding orders. Since all the statements are true, the corresponding sides and the angles are congruent, thus angle, triangle ABC is congruent to triangle DEF. Now, I want you to look at this example. We have here triangle XYZ and triangle RST. So, we are going to write all the pairs of congruent corresponding signs. Can you answer it, students? Write your answers in your paper. Now, let us see the answers. Line segment XY and line segment RT are congruent corresponding sides. So, line segment XY is congruent to line segment RT or line segment TR. Why? Because line segment XY has the same markings as line segment RT. Another pair of congruent corresponding sides are line segment XZ and line segment ST. So line segment XZ is congruent to line segment ST. Why? Because line segment XZ has the same markings as line segment ST. Next we have 
line segment YZ and line segment RS. So, line segment YZ is congruent to line segment RS. Why? Because line segment YZ has the same marking as line segment RS. Great! Congratulations, students! Now let's have example number two. Again, write your answers on your papers. Write all the pairs of congruent corresponding angles. Can you do it, students? Good. Now let's see the answer. Angle X and angle T are congruent corresponding angles. So angle X is congruent to angle T. Why? Because angle X has the same marking as angle T. Another congruent corresponding angles are angle Y and angle R. Angle Y is congruent to angle R. Why? Because angle Y has the same marking as angle R. Another corresponding angle R, angle Z, and angle S. So angle Z is congruent to angle S. Why? Because angle Z has the same markings as angle S. Good job, students! Now let's have example number three. You are going to write in symbols. Triangle XYZ is congruent to triangle TRS. Again, write your answers in your paper. Now let's have the answer. Good job, students. So we have here, since all six pairs of corresponding parts are congruent, thus, triangle XYZ is congruent the triangle TRS. Did you get all the correct answers, students? Great! This time, let us illustrate congruence postulates. There are ways to find or prove if two triangles are congruent through some congruence postulates like SAS, ASA, SSS, and AAS. SAS stands for Side Angle Side Congruence Postulates. ASA stands for Angle Side Angle Congruence Postulates. SSS stands for Side 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 Congruence Postulates. And AAS stands for Angle angle side congruence postulates okay we have first sas or side angle side congruence postulate this postulate states that if two sides and the included angle of one triangle are equal to the corresponding sides and angle of another triangle then the triangles are congruent. Say for example in this figure, as marked, line segment AB is congruent to line segment RS, side. Angle A is congruent to angle R. So these are the included angles. Line segment AC is congruent to line segment RQ, that is, the other side. Therefore, by SAS congruence postulate, triangle ABC is congruent to triangle RQS.
Another postulate is ASA or angle side angle congruence postulate. This postulate states that if two angles and the included side of one triangle are equal to the corresponding angles and side of another triangle, then the triangles are congruent. So for example, in this figure, as marked, angle A is congruent to angle X. So that is, or those are the angles. Line segment AB is congruent to line segment XY. So these are the included sides. And angle B is congruent to angle Y. These are the two other angles. Therefore, by ASA congruence postulate, triangle ABC is congruent to triangle XYZ. Another postulate is SSS or side 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 congruence postulate. This postulate states that if three sides of one triangle are equal to the three sides of another triangle, then the triangles are congruent. As marked in the figure, line segment AB is congruent to line segment LM. These are the sides of the two triangles. Line segment AC is congruent to line segment LK. These are the two sides again of the two triangles. Line segment BC is congruent to line segment MK, another sides of the two angles that are congruent. Therefore, by SSS congruence postulate, triangle ABC is congruent to triangle LMK. Note, there is also a triangle congruence wherein the givens are two angles and non-included side, and that is AAS congruence postulates or what we call the angle-angle side congruence postulate. That states that if two angles and the non-included side of one triangle are congruent to two angles and the non-included side of another triangle, then these two triangles are congruent. So as marked in the figure, Angle C is congruent to angle G. So these are the two angles. Angle B is congruent to angle D, another two corresponding congruent angles. Line segment AB is congruent to line segment DF. This R the non-included sides. This time, I want you to have a practice on your papers. So for each pair of triangles, you are going to complete the mathematical statement and identify the congruence postulate, whether it is SAS, ASA, SSS, or AAS, that can be used to conclude that the triangles are congruent. Let us start with figure number one. So complete what triangle is congruent to triangle ABC. So we have triangle EFG. It is congruent 
the triangle ABC and the postulate that concludes that they are congruent is the SAS or the SAS congruence postulate. Another figure. So what triangle is congruent to triangle GHJ? So we have triangle RARE. And what postulate that concludes that the triangles are congruent? So we have ASA congruence postulate. How about this figure? What triangle is congruent to triangle QRS? So it is triangle MNO. And what concludes the triangles to be congruent? Okay, the SSS congruence postulate. Did you get all the correct answers, students? Good job. Now let's proceed to the next lesson. In this lesson, you are expected to solve corresponding parts of congruent triangles. To solve for the needed corresponding parts to make the triangles congruent is by using the congruence postulate. These are the SAS, ASA, and SSS. There are also additional congruence theorems on triangles that may help. And these are the LL or the leg-leg theorem, LA or the leg-acute theorem, HYL or the hypotenuse leg theorem, and HYA or the hypotenuse Let us discuss first the LL or the leg-leg theorem. It states that if the legs of one right triangle are congruent to the legs of another right triangle, the two triangles are congruent. In this figure, triangle ABC and triangle DEF are both right triangles. We can see in the figure that line segment AB and line segment EF are congruent. And line segment BC and line segment EF are also congruent. The legs of one right triangle are congruent to the legs of another right triangle. Therefore, triangle ABC is congruent to triangle DEF. The two triangles are congruent. Another theorem is the LA or leg acute theorem. This states that if the leg and an acute angle of one right triangle are both congruent to the corresponding leg and acute angle of another right triangle, the two triangles are congruent. Say for example, in this figure, triangle ABC and triangle FED are both right triangles. Angle C, which is the acute angle of triangle ABC, is congruent to angle F, which is the acute angle of triangle DEF. And line segment BC of the triangle ABC is congruent to line segment EF of the triangle DEF. The two corresponding legs are congruent and the two corresponding angles are also congruent. Therefore, triangle ABC and triangle DEF are congruent triangles. 
Another theorem is the HYL or hypotenuse leg theorem. It states that if the hypotenuse and leg of one right triangle are congruent to the hypotenuse and leg of another right triangle, the two triangles are congruent. So in this figure, triangle ABC and triangle FEG are both right triangles. A smart, one leg of triangle ABC, which is line segment BC, is congruent to one leg of triangle FEG, that is line segment EG. And the hypotenuse of triangle ABC, which is the line segment AC, is congruent to the hypotenuse of the triangle FEG, and that is the line segment FG. Another hypotenuse or another theorem is the HYA or the hypotenuse acute theorem. It states that if the hypotenuse and an acute angle of one right triangle are congruent to the hypotenuse and an acute angle of another right triangle, then the two triangles are congruent. For example, in this figure, as marked, line AC is the hypotenuse of triangle ABC and that is congruent to line segment DF, which is the hypotenuse of triangle DEF. And angle A, which is the acute angle of triangle ABC, is also congruent to angle F, which is the acute angle of triangle DEF. Therefore, the two triangles are congruent. This time, we will learn how to solve corresponding parts of congruent triangles. Example number one, we are going to find the values of x and the measure of angle G. By LA or leg acute theorem, the two triangles are congruent. With that, the acute angle given on triangle M and L is equal to the acute angle given on triangle FGH. So given, measure of angle M is equal to 80 degrees. Line segment LM is equal to line segment FH as seen in the markings. Measure of the angle G is equal to 2x. Now we are going to find the value of x and the measure of angle G. Are you ready students? Okay. To find the solution, we have here 2x is equal to 80 because acute angle given on triangle FGD is congruent or equal to the acute angle of triangle LMN, which is 80 degrees. So 2x divided by 2 is equal to 80 divided by 2. That is, dividing both sides by 2. So 2x divided by 2 is equal to x. 80 divided by 2 is equal to 40. Now, since x is equal to 40 and the measure of angle G is equal to 2x, so the measure of angle G is equal to 2x, measure of angle G is equal to 2 times 40 degrees. We are going to substitute the value of x, which is 40 degrees. Therefore, the measure of angle G is equal 
to 80 degrees. Okay, students, did you learn something from the session? Okay, before we end, let us first recall that to determine if two triangles are congruent, they should have exactly the same measurement of the corresponding sides and exactly the same measurement of the corresponding angles. Corresponding sides are marked the same and same goes with the corresponding angles. Congruent triangles are named by listing their vertices in corresponding orders. These are some postulates to find or prove if two triangles are congruent. SAS, ASA, SSS, AAS. SAS stands for Side Angle Side Congruence Postulate. ASA stands for Angle Side Angle Congruence Postulate. SSS stands for Side 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 Congruence Postulate. And AAS stands for Angle Angle Side Congruence Postulate. In solving corresponding parts of congruent triangles, triangle congruence postulates and theorems must be remembered in order to be guided and supported. SAS, or the side angle side congruence postulate. ASA, or the angle side angle congruence postulate. SSS, or the side 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 congruence postulate. AAS, angle angle side congruence postulate. LL, or the leg leg theorem. And LA, or the leg acute theorem. HYL or the hypotenuse leg theorem and HYA or the hypotenuse acute theorem. So these are the things that you are going to remember. That ends our session today, dear students. Learning about congruency, let us be guided with the saying that integrity means congruence. Words and behavior match. Again, this is Teacher Monica and thank you for listening. Until next time.